gehen. Äh. So. Alright. Let me see if you turned her a milestone at least with that. Uh, oh. But anyway. But you mean my milestone? Yeah, I, I was just making a joke, sorry. Diffuse a violetal slash tinge, etc. situation would be the one that, that will cause it to erupt slash explode. <laughs> Yeah, I think she did just hit one of her tens. <laughs> now that you think about... Now that you said it... Kinda. <laughs> Hi. He caused it to explode, I think, yeah. <laughs> so, um... So I guess uh, we'll go to back to the school. Dr. Okay. Kuroki will wheel Shin back to, to the... To the nurse's room. Okay, I mean, I'm following along. Alright. You feel right. your your neck, the back of your neck is neck is a bit itchy. Nothing too much. Got it. And uh, when uh, when you get there. Yeah. So and he'll get up and he'll walk casually to the bed and lie down. And uh, he'll be like, uh, hmm. so I didn't want to tell you in front of another card holder because, you know, they might target me. I mean, I want to collect the cards and they want to keep their cards. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I understood that. Mm, so, oh. you got my message, right? Uh, I'm not... I got a message. I'm not yeah, entirely sure. Yeah, one where I showed you how that guy attacked me. Okay. I don't think it was necessarily a full attack, but I get how... Wait. Is that why I sort of gesture, you know, thumb gesture to um, the doctor? Is that why he's here? Mm, that's a consequence. No, oh, he's okay. going to be here for a long time now. You won't be able to talk to me just by myself anymore. Except when you're in the dome, when we're getting the cards. Hey, shit, now you can't see. Do you dream? Yeah. I have loads of dreams. I have dreams of other people. Okay, sorry, just random question. Mm, what did you ask? Anyway, so... What did you want to say that you didn't want... Wait, two buses? A card carrier? Damn, well, didn't well, what I what I wanted to say is that mm, you need to get Ryu to be a good collector. <laughs> he doesn't like me. Uh, Ryu's a complicated guy. I don't want to speak for him. I don't think he dislikes you. I think he just has a neutral eye toward, toward pretty much everybody. That's not good enough. Sitting on the fence means that it will impale you and you'll die. Okay, um... I'll talk to him about that. Is that... Mm, that's all I wanted for now. Mm, you, uh, you're preparing to go and uh, get a card, right? Yeah, we're we've we're actively working into that now and basically choosing mm. 
Mm. Is there an order that this has to be done in, or is it just up to our discretion? Mm. You don't have to do it in an order. That would make things so much harder. Yeah. So mm. it's just it's anyone you want, but the closer you are to the person, the more likely you'll be able to do it. That's why you got to bond with people like I bonded with you. I sort of scratched my neck. I don't think you mean like that, right? No. Though but that it would helps. Yeah, I just realized that myself. Fuck. And uh, he'll just kind of narrow his eyes, and he'll be like, "It's the same kind of power Tila has." Got it. Um, can I ask a couple of questions? Because we. If we take a card from somebody, does that basically mean they're no longer have anything? I mean, can they still be Persona users? Does it rob everything from them? Mm, depends on what their dream is. Can we ask you what... If Can we come to you with various card holders and ask you what their dream is? Well, if I knew, I'd just take it. Got it. No, no, no. It's something so intrinsic and deep. Just say it, it doesn't really do anything. You have to experience it. I can allow us to, ex to enter that experience. I have that much power. But to actually just take it like that, no, you have to go through a trial or a challenge, otherwise the card would be worthless. It would just be... Mm, a thing. Can we reshape their dreams as we're taking the card? Well, if they could be reshaped, it would be worthless. So once we take the card, the dream is diminished but not erased, right? It's erased. Okay, um... If I thought you said basically it doesn't necessarily have to basically take all of their power from them, but if the dream's taken regardless, doesn't that take their power? Not necessarily. Okay. There's probably a high chance of it, but you can't really say 100%. If it was that easily known, it wouldn't be that worth valuable, would it? Right. All right. I'm sure I'm going to have other questions later. Um, how much can the person contribute to their, their, own, their part of that dream. I mean, how much can they be an active participant in removing or holding on to their dream? Are they aware of it or not? Is it all going to be on some subliminal level? Mm. Mm. Some of people will be aware of it, some will not. It depends entirely on their person, on the arcana. On the dream, got it. When we put on the mask, when we put on the blindfold, when we put on the chain, when we put on the presses of the world, uh, we exclude other options, like narrow vision, like <laughs> nothing else matters. Got it. Mm. And besides, the more cards you give to me, the more powers I'll get. If I get what I want, I'll be stronger. And then I'll be able to help you more. Got it. All right. Thanks. Um, I actually I sort of, I just, in random, sort of like type out a text on uh, my phone. I don't send it, but I sort of turn it so that Shane can read it. Basically, it says, would you accept if we tried to talk with you in your dreams? 
without I it could be turned around without using Jeffrey using this using the a demon turn it back over and he'll say out loud I can talk to you Rio and Kaharu no problem erase what I raised the message got it man mm. In, in just in, well, do you want me to do it tonight? Uh, I can't speak for them, so how about just uh, I'll send you a message if they accept. Otherwise, just talk with me tonight. Oh yeah, I've got this. He'll just kind of hold out the phone. It looks a bit gummy, like he had sauce spilled on it. Uh, hold on one second. I sort of take it and just wipe it down, wipe it off, see if it's still at, if it's running, if he's battery yet. It's still working. You might need to charge it though. Yeah, <laughs> I hook it up. <coughs> All right. All right. Well. Then I guess I'll come by tomorrow and talk to you again. All right, and I'll visit you in your dreams tonight. Then <laughs> sort of just turn around, nod to the guy. Bye, sir. Walk out. Mm. If you want, I can okay. take care of the Sandman as well. He's not very strong. Right now, I have I sort of sort of scratch where the. Uh, with the pieces, I have a I have a deal with him that isn't bothering me that much, and I kind of like to see if I can cultivate him as an ally. You but, wouldn't be you wouldn't be kill erasing existence. I would be. No, I I got that, and if it's necessary, thank you. I will take you up on the offer. But for right now, I'd rather turn a mistake of mine into an into an asset than basically consider it a failure. Okay. Again, nod to the guy. Walk out. Immediately send a text to uh to and Rio. And he'll just he'll just kind okay. of say like uh, casually, "Good luck on your card adventure." As I'm as I'm leaving, I do send a text to Rio. I know how much you hate getting these texts, but I do think we all need to have a conversation tonight at dinner. Make sure everybody gets there. Us the dorm only. <laughs> All right, text back. Oh no, I love getting these highlights of my. <laughs> right. So let's do the Akira and uh, let's do the Akira and Rio scene, and I might do a mini side session for Kaho if you want to think about what you'd actually do. Right. I think. He's gone. Raise B right yeah, back, he's, so he's not here. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Well. Yeah. And then technically, we, yeah. So. <laughs> Sorry, man, for keeping you in the center of these things. <laughs> what? No, it's fine. It's fine. He's the leader, Sama. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, but... So okay, so I always have a back door to getting in anybody. <laughs> I mean, why why would you do anything without consulting Rio? Should I poop, Rio? Tell me what to do. <laughs> no, this is. Do you want? Do you mind if Shinin made your dream? Oh, by the way, we got some. I got some knowledge that we were that we didn't know about yesterday. That is actually important. <laughs> Please no. That sounds horrible. Thank you. <laughs> but no the. <laughs> you know what the best part of this is? Punished Draco. <laughs> How not creepy at all he is. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to destroy the Sandman for you? You can trust no. now. No, I like the Sandman. Do you want me to destroy him, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah. What I said, Ray, was that 
We'll do the Akira Rio and then consequently the fuck thing. And, and then, then I was going to do a side session for Kahara if you want to think of a good scene. Cool. All right. Okay. So we're doing this stuff now? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Lee, though. Basically, Sin said, uh, get Ryu to like me, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> good. Well, also, make sure that Ryu is a good, is a good guy when he's stealing. Make sure he's a good guy. Yes. Make sure well, he's a good also boy. Also, Raph wants uh, Raph wants for Shin to visit him in his dreams tonight, so uh, that will uh-huh. happen next session. Why'd you do that? <laughs> he asked well, for it. I asked. Why? Basically, okay. Privacy. Why? Yeah. Basically. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's good. I like yeah. that. Akira was apparently basically it, but us. Thought it'd be too weird. Akira can't do it. Uh, yeah. Lucky. Apparently, the only people that can do it are ones with their oh, first yeah, no, generation. No, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, because Emiko's yeah. not enough for him anymore. No matter why, he's not getting it. That makes sense. No, we we could have contacted Reiko if she took the other deal. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Can <Couldn't> resist. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kira and Rio. Yeah, yeah. meeting Kira. outside of school. Yeah, Kira would give him a ring and say, we should probably, I got some stuff to tell you. Yeah, well. Meet you outside of school. Yeah, it probably makes sense that you'd do that right after school and he'd be like, all right, call me after student council, then we'll talk. Yeah. So then now it is after. Yeah. And Rio will show up at the front of the school. And look for Akira. The founder. Okay. She's waving over. She's by right. like the bench. He'll walk over. You know what? I'm gonna roll his understanding. Oh yeah, go ahead. So you just tell me based on this whether he walks over with a sigh or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she looks like uh, worried about something. All right. Not cool. like the guilty worried she's used to, yeah, you've seen in the past. More like, I have something to tell you, worried. And like, well, and not, not less so worried yeah, about yeah. telling Rio and more so worried. Right, more so worried. Yeah, so sigh, yeah, probably. Yeah, a or sigh. Or concerned sigh. Like, a oh God, sigh. What, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just that one. Just that one, not that one. Yo. He'll show up and be like, right, so I'm going to make the assumption that this isn't pleasure. So can I scratch just a chin? No, not really. We can start off with pleasantries if you want. I was kind of curious how student council's going. <laughs> right. He'll kind of have that stall out moment where he's like, wow, I wasn't actually expecting that. But then he'll start up and go like, right, well, student council went fine. I managed to finish all my work in ample time, and, uh, well, I talked to some of the other members about switching departments. Don't tell anyone that. Gotcha. Yeah, it's safe with me. Cool. Looks like you had fun, at least. Oh, yes. It was quite, how do I put this? Refreshing, recharging, not quite exhilarating, but... Well, it's always enjoyable to have a job well done at the end of the day. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. We got something to do that's in front of us at school. Yes. And now I have something to actually put my mind on. Uh, So, we got an update on some stuff. That won't probably make you thrilled, but... Well, it's not a completely negative avenue in one way. Mm. Uh, right. So Ryu and I went to see Shin. Mm, I see. Uh, and he's got a new nurse, I guess. Mm. A caretaker. Someone who's going to be with him now. <laughs> and while I mean with him, I mean, wow, he won't leave the room with him. He's some mm. doctor guy. Huh. That's a bit unusual, though mm-hmm. I do suppose Shin does have special circumstances. 
doctor in the literal sense, I think, but maybe just mythopoetic doctor thing. Um, mm -hmm. He's kind of caught up to date with some of Shin's, well, ness. He's already one of the people who can actually pick up on him, and he's identified that people can't. And he knows Shin some anomaly, or whatever. Hmm. And he kind of knows about what Shin talks about. I don't know if he believes him, though. It sounded like he kind of thought he was crazy, but not crazy. He, he talked about deciding if Shin was in insignificant she's trying to recount it or like a real mythopoetic <laughs> but he's studying him like record every word and mannerism studying him <sighs> right well that is a bit odd hmm. yeah Shen kinda... doesn't like him because he's doesn't and can't ever have a card so at least we know that hmm and I guess that also means that Kuroki san also will. No, he's probably already heard about them from Shin. Right. All right. Yeah, we'll just kind of. As for walking, mm -hmm. we'll just kind of close his eyes and think for a moment and then go. <sighs> well, best case scenario is that he thinks Shin is just weird and crazy. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. He has a little more evidence to know that Shaden's got something going on, though. A little more evidence? Mm. So, the reason he got assigned to him is because something happened. Mm. Something. Uh, yeah. So, if Shaden said he was attacked, and she uses quotation marks. <sighs> a bit dramatic sounding. Well, it sounds like it was more so that he was worried he threatened his existence or something, which you know how Shin talks, but he did have a run-in with Ryu's brother, because apparently Ryu told him about Shin completely. Like the whole patron thing, everything about him it sounds like, that he knew. Which brother? Haru? Mm. Ha the nice one. Mm. Haru. You'll the one that's kinda... not a dick. Mm. I mean, Ryo's just like remembering the dream. Yeah. Which, maybe that was what that thing you guys were... The thing Raph and Koharu were talking about? <laughs> they had like a dream. Right. Hmm. And so Shin was calling us to, you know, because he got attacked. And, well, I was checking up on him, but now it's more so that he was calling us after Ryu left to kind of uh, deal with why Ryu told him. Oh, and so his brother told had something happen with Shin, and the end result was him telling the doctor about Shin, and now he's being monitored. And Shin's well, really threatened by this. Mm. He's really upset with Ryu, and I mean, I kind of am a bit, and I mean, I don't know. You know how Shin gets, he's jumpy, and yes. like, what if this had made it back to someone else? I mean, the doctor's an unknown factor, but um, I don't want him, you know, taking Shin away or something. Apparently he's like his best legal guardian now. Dot, dot, dot. I don't think he can take Shin away. I, well, maybe don't. he has the power to, but if he has a vested interest, then I don't think he wants Shin to leave the school. Yeah, but maybe, you know, he talks to someone else who wants it or something. I don't know. It's just another person who knows about Shin, which I don't want him to, you know, get taken advantage of. At least okay. Shin doesn't seem to really like him. Okay. Jess, can I roll my knowledge with my Mirai Academy modifier to see if I can put together that the doctor may be the Dr. Kuroki on the board of governors? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> I hope it's not too high of a roll. <laughs> I mean, I mean, did she say his name? Yes. Yeah. It was awesome. fucking obvious to me. <laughs> no, I I just heard you say some. No, no, no. She said Kroki saw it at one point. Okay, I didn't hear. I didn't pay attention to go. that. Sorry. There you I go. Just, yeah. I just, I just. Yeah, I said it name. to make your job easier. <laughs> yeah, because the nurse mentioned the name with. And Akira's not, I don't think Akira's that retarded. No, so. Akira didn't talk to him. I called Kuroki san and she just said it right now. No, 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 no. Like, you didn't ask the doctor's name, but the nurse told you the doctor's name. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she addressed him in their conversation. Yeah, so there yeah. you go. Yes, yes, no, that's cool. Yeah. All right. So See, that was that was my misunderstanding, because my brain that's was still fine. latched on to the beginning. It's fine. It's a lot of information. It's fine. It's great. He'll be like, it's also the same person Chiba said would help you. Yep. Yeah, I know. And Kohara will find out. <laughs> ah, God, I love Kuroki. Great. Oh, now I have a reason to go see Shin. Kuroki hey. will be there. Kuroki will be there. This guy's usually never around. Oh, Bully. Around. Bully. <laughs> Bully. Well, oh, I do. Oh, he's going to be here now forever. Yes. Ah, oh, Koharu just... and Rio finally have something in common. Mm -hmm. Yay. They talk to talk to Kuroki yeah. about probably the same sort of similar. Almost I probably the same, the same thing. thing. Subject, but from different angles. <laughs> God, Rio, I'm trying to get this cool bomb thing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, All right, sorry. anyways, yes. Rio will just measure. Not measure. He'll think about it, and he'll go. I think that's a fear we don't have to worry about. If not, if nothing else, I'm certain Shin won't be leaving the academy because of Doctor Kuroki. What makes you say that? Doctor Kuroki, which I'm assuming is the same one I'm thinking about, is one of the board is on one of the board seats of the school. The same wow. as Minamoto San and several other important figures in this city. Wow, the way he talked about it did not make that clear. Yes, well, from I what mean, I understand... I he sounded like he doesn't even live here. Yes, well, from what I understand... And granted, I haven't heard that much. The man is quite the skilled mytho... Not skilled. Quite the accomplished mythopoetic researcher at the moment. It's mm. natural that he'd be on the board of governors with such high accolades with that kind of thing. And if he truly wants to examine Shin, then he wouldn't make any moves that would move Shin out of his own jurisdiction. Uh, right. Just like Minamoto-san, we can assume that Dr. Kuroki has carte blanche access to the school. Uh, Alright, well that's good then. It is a bit... It is going to be a bit annoying that Shin... Is being watched, though. He's anxious, anxious, compulsive, and extremely goal-driven. Mm -hmm. He's not very stable. That could be a problem for our dealing with him. Not the Bro, least of which being the identified. No, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, not the least of which being the fact. <laughs> sorry, not the least of which being the fact that we'll have to discuss these cards with him at some point. Mm -hmm. Kuroki's already identified that Shin gets people to help him with contracts and stuff. But I don't think he knows, you know, more than the idea of it, if he knows that he, you know, is like a patron or not, considering he's not sure how powerful Shin is. Well, Shin doesn't usually go out exercising whatever powers he does have. And again, if Ryu told his brother he's our patron, he'd already know. Which it sounds like he might have. Right. Well. I would assume that there's probably a range of how powerful a patron can be. If he's not sure whether Shin is important or insignificant, then he can't know that much about what his position is. I'd assume that's what the around-the-clock study is for. Right. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, he's probably going to find out about a lot of stuff anyway. Probably. Akira, mm -hmm. do you remember last semester when we took Shin out to the concerts, and I believe you took him out on a fishing trip at one point? Huh. Yeah. Hmm. I don't comments. think Shin's able to leave the school anymore. Mm. Yeah? Yes, just from a few things he said and the fact that, well, in the weeks prior to the semester ending, I caught Hamato attempting to move him through the school borders, which caused Shin some distress. Uh, Hamato was? <sighs> Well, yes. I gave him a talking to him at the time. Let him know that that kind of behavior isn't really appreciated. Good. He doesn't really get people. But still. Hmm. Shin's become more and more obsessive over the cards, and have you noticed that he's less and less, not energetic, but more and more focused on them and less on other things? Yeah. He seems... Way more mm, not willing to just, you know, hmm. live uh, with other things. He's kind right. of a one-note guy right now. Right. So, pardon me if I propose a theory, but I do think that it might be the case that Chin's not able to pull himself away from the school as much as he was able to before. Which can only mean a few things. Either Shin is actually weaker now, either mythologically or physically, or he's not seeing a benefit to those excursions. So either way, something happened to him. Well, yes. Something had to have happened to him. Yeah. <sighs> That's not great. Mm. No, it's not. Do you have any idea what could be up with him? Like, at all? No. Not really. I don't know enough about Shin at all. If I were to... Be... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, he'll be like, if I were to come up with a theory based on everything that I know... And granted... That wouldn't be a very good theory, because there's not much. We know that Shin was extremely powerful some long time ago. And now Shin is the way he is here. Hmm. Shin wants the cards, because they're his. And also he says that well, getting them will help him help us. Hmm. Shin is almost certainly some kind of mythopoetic. He'll just kind of droddle on. Maybe the cards are a form of what the persona is to us for him. Maybe without them, he's getting weaker. Hmm. That... Could... I could understand that. Hmm. Granted, that's pretty simplistic. I'm not at all happy with that theory. Sure, but any more is just kind of pointless since we don't know enough to get complicated. Yeah, and so that's going to be a problem. If that's the case, then there's no way that we could stop Dr. Kuroki from finding out the cards unless we want to get incredibly tricky with the school itself. Hmm. I don't imagine that he would attack us for them, but I do imagine that he'd be incredibly interested. Well, it's not like we don't know a bunch of people who know about the cars already. Hmm. If he's honestly looking into Shin, he'll have to hear about him from Shin. And if he's around the school long enough, maybe he'll hear about him from someone else. Yes. Hmm. So it might not be something we really gotta 
try to keep from him. It might just be pointless. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Well, anyways, that's my idea on the matter of Shin and Dr. Kuroki. Hmm. As for moving forward with this new information, granted it would be a lot more beneficial to us if people who could know about Shin didn't. Mm. Then again, it might not honestly be the worst idea for it to have been this Dr. Kuroki. I, I guess, I mean... Maybe he could help us understand some things. Maybe. Well, think of it this way. It's not as though he can keep us out of it. We're directly tied to Shin. One way or another, if he keeps researching Shin, he's going to have questions for us, and then we can have questions for him. Right. Well, he seemed interested to know how we talked with Shin. Mm. Well... I don't really advise letting him know everything, but eventually when he comes to us with questions, it doesn't help us to just turn him away. Anyways, that's the best we can do to salvage this situation. Right. See if he can actually figure something out. Right. After all, there's definitely things Shin isn't telling us. Probably out of the fact that he doesn't think they're important, or he just doesn't care because he's so focused on the cards. I don't think it's malicious, honestly. I mean, Akira, neither of the two things I said were from malice. I'm just I guess, that's... used to... Sorry, it's just... I'm just thinking about why Reeve told his brother and he always assumed bad things for Shin. Hmm. <sighs> well, it's I can see my... why. I mean, I don't give the impression that he's talked to Shin that much, but there is the fact that Shin has been well, mysterious before. He was nice enough, but now it seems like what his mental state is, is degrading. Hmm. Still, that would seem like the opposite time you'd want to tell someone about him. Yeah. I kind of need it, you know. I was going to talk to him about it. I mean, telling people about Shin only really puts him in more scrutiny. Right. I mean, he's a strong guy in a really weak state. I don't want anyone scummy to learn about him. Hmm. Well. The fact that he is in a very weak state does mean that regardless of what's special about him, it'd be very easy to exploit him. And that's not... He just shakes his head and goes, and that's a very poor outcome for everyone, I'd imagine. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I believe I might have had the same dream as Dark and Himura-chan. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That I wouldn't so much... One of them. Yeah, yeah. I'd be weirded out if you didn't have a dream. He'll just nod and then go. While I wouldn't go so far as Shin as to say that Takanaka-san attacked him, there was definitely the sense that he was leveraging whatever power he thought he had. Hmm in a rather straightforward way. If I was more antagonistic toward the man, I'd say that he was leveraging a threat. But from what I can remember, and granted it's hazy, I think he was trying to help Ryu. He believed Sin's influence was bad and wanted him to step away. And for that, 
Ariel just goes quiet for a minute. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, that's what older brothers do, I guess. Look out for their siblings, but... I mean, even if it wasn't a real threat or anything, it's Shin. He takes things pretty strongly, literally. Mm. He doesn't really that was no better, I think. That was an expression roll, by the way. Gotcha. Yeah, we'll just go. Right. Have you ever heard of the phrase disproportionate retribution? Uh, I can guess what it means, I think. Right. Like a big There's... retribution? Yes, a retribution that's out of scale with what actually happened. Uh -huh. I'd say Shin overreacted at least a little. But then again, this did cause quite the complication towards him. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, you know, Shin says things like, oh man, I made him swear a blood oath for you guys. I, I help own you or whatever. You know, he uses colorful language. Right. He's eccentric. But I can understand why that's a bit weird to some people. Hmm. It's like a little dog. They bark a lot. It shins, you know, he's small. He needs to put up a really strong face, to, you know, or he wouldn't get treaded on. I mean, he's really paranoid about things, and uh, it, it's uh, you're not really attacking him, are you? Mm. Mm. <laughs> she just kind of scratches the back of her neck, like I don't know. I haven't Sorry. considered making any assaults against Shin. <laughs> that seems like a pointless thing to do. Right. Sorry. Mm. Well, yeah. there is the fact that, well. Any dog, no matter the size, is going to bark because it's not trained well enough. Right. Mm. So, is Shin going to get better about that or worse when we start making him bigger? I mean, I'd want to say better if he's worried about his, you know place in life now being weak, but that's being optimistic, I guess. <sighs> Optimism's fine. I mean, there's two plans. One, the one where he gets better, less paranoid as he gets more of his power back. The other where he stays the same as he is now. <laughs> mm. Well, um, at worst, he starts to get antagonistic, and we can probably talk him down. I mean, he's dead set sometimes, but I feel like we've swayed him sometimes in the past. Oh, I mean, Shin hasn't the... been unreasonable. Yeah. Even when it comes to the matter of his deadline, when I explained to him how we were going about it, he, well, resigned to acceptance. You know, sometimes the acts a little out, but I think he doesn't... I think he respects us enough to take us and listen to us. He's like a friend. I don't know. Sometimes, in my head, it sounds like Shin's some weird person somewhere in between, like a demon sometimes, the way he acts about things. I mean, the cards and everything. Not your average, normal, everyday speak you have with a friend, but I don't know. Weird to act around him sometimes. He's just kind of like a sick kid. And sometimes he's a really spooky, weird mythological person. But I don't think he's I don't know. I'm Kind of. She just kind of throws her hands up in the air. Right. I don't know what to make of it. Right. Well, there's not much we can make at this point. What we need to actually think about now... Well, what we need to actually do is damage control and go forward with how we originally intended. See if anything needs to be changed. We can think about anything. But... 
if we want to get to know more about Shin, the entity known as Shin, not the person that we know, do mm. you get what the difference between those two things are, Akira? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've had to get a, a lot of experience with people who aren't the same people, you know. Mm. Entity's kind of like an idea, I guess. Mm. Not so much a person, really. Right. Then in that case... Well, we're going to need help. Hmm. Mm. Thinks, and he goes, hmm. Dark Sun, definitely, will need his help. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I think he made a deal with shit about something to make it up to him. <sighs> He's probably got another piece. About... He makes those things rather flippantly. Oh, Still, God, I can't wait till the one in his face. Then he'll look like an idiot. Mm. Still, I don't think whatever promise he made is going to impede us finding more out. But anyway, he's definitely going to need Dark Sun's help. And he pauses and then goes, We'll need to get the thing from him, or I believe Reiko... Well, he wouldn't say Reiko. I believe Fujiwara might be able to assist as well. What thing does Koharu have? Oh. Hmm. Now me. Hmm? You mean the card or something from Koharu? I mean something from Koharu. Just say Koharu then, instead of him or let's say. Right, I suppose confusing. that is confusing. Hmm. Anyway, well, sure. Know, it sounds... I know you like to be formal, but come on, it's just Koharu. Hmm. It's not simply being formal. I mean, we're not particularly close. Really? I, I mean, can't... I know you guys don't hang out, but I figure, after all this, you must have had at least a heart-to-heart -heart at one point. Mm. I remember having that about a while ago, when we were still dealing with Kudlak and how Naomi was involved in that. I gave her my word to keep the thing a secret, and I also promised her we'd stop it, which I suppose we eventually did. I don't think we've ever had any heart-to-heart -heart since then. And he'll just pause, thinking about the, the, the Matoki incident where she was there at the end, and he was like, yeah. I'm mad, I'm yelling, not yelling, but I am critiquing you. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. But anyways, what we need from her, I'm sure you can remember. Well, maybe not now, but... Well, where have we gotten our solid pieces of information about Shin? Mm. From the past? Well, yes. Mm. Alright, where did we learn that Shin is incredibly ancient? Okay, I think I can't remember. Fuck, when did we mention it was ancient? I think uh, Raf did the hair. the hair thing. Yes. Yeah. Raf read the distinction. Ah, Funko Haru cut his hair! Mm. Need more hair? And he'll nod and he'll be like, Well, I can't imagine she... I mean, I can't imagine why, but I can't actually... Right, I would throw it away. I'm not sure if him or not has. <laughs> but... He'll just kind of pause. really... I think she made a necklace. Mm. Oh, right. Well, we got something out of that last time, but, well, with the help of more people, dark once again for reading purposes, but as long as I have you around, Akira, he'll just kind of groan at having said that. Oh, then, sucks. well, we can find out some more about it. He'll just kind of say, holding his hand out, like, I'm talking about my ability when you yeah. affect me. Right, right, I got you. The combo. Yes, I can do more than just duplicate. After becoming more familiar with the power, well, I can alter things, add properties from one thing to another. If I have assistance from everyone, hmm, Raph helping, perhaps one of Reiko's spirits might be able to assist. And of course, mm. if Himura is around, Kaharu is around, there are those cranes. It might be possible even to make his hair talk. 
Man. That would be weird. That's probably seen some stuff. <sighs> well, that sounds like a good team effort plan. Mm, he'll nod. Most likely. And then again, there's always the fact that when I can reconstruct the torn up cards he gave us, they may not be his cards, but they were still his. Maybe they could, you know, help us figure out where the real ones are, if they're copies of what they were. Maybe. The copy of the Hanged Man was able to reveal things about a, a interesting domain to me. Nice. It wasn't very pleasant to use, but, well, we'll just kind of shake his head and go, but, well, it was useful. Oh. Right. If we actually think these things through, there's a lot we'd be able to accomplish. Oh. Yeah, definitely. I've learned that thinking things through is pretty sweet. Uh, speaking oh. of thinking things through, uh, I mean, I told Shin I was going to talk to Ryu, but... Mm. I mean, am I wrong in thinking it's kind of a bad idea to go telling people about Shin? I mean, we might be able to work it out this time, but... I want to know why he did it, at least. It's having consequences. Everyone. I mean, Which yeah. Means we're Shin's entitled to talk about it. If Shin's our patron and he's in danger, that's bad for all of us. And plus, Shin would be in danger, so that'd be pretty bad. So oh, yes. I mean, I don't think it's not our place to talk about it. I can't imagine that Ryu was trying to get Shin placed in danger. I might be being optimistic, but all I can come to the conclusion is he simply didn't care about protecting Shin. Hmm. Still, great. yeah, still, I'd like to know the reasons. After all, it's not good to compromise whatever Shin's up to. After all, if we all accept that we believe the fact that the world's going to end unless we get these cards, then we need Shin around. Yeah. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Right. So, you want to help me talk to him later? <sighs> Fine. And he'll just kind of sigh and then go, oh, Apparently Dark has something he wants to tell everyone, but he found out about Shin anyways. Oh, God. Good, another raft talk over dinner. I can't wait. Mm. <sighs> anyway, thanks for you. I appreciate it. It's not a problem. Although I am glad to see that you finally come away, come around to the idea of thinking things through. He smiles. <laughs> Scratches the back of her hair. It's short now, dick! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I, I saw someone who did it a bunch and it seemed to work out okay for them. Mm. Well, good to see you have a responsible role model. Speaking of not thinking things out, uh, uh, you know, it's sorry about if I was a bit pushy back on the Toki's Island. I kind of don't remember to, well, I remember enough. I remember being really loud to you. <laughs> so me saying it. Sorry if I was a dick or rude. Got so many things. I'm going to roll Courage with a minus two because of his own trauma, the tire thing, and her back. Oh, that's better than I thought. No, I kind of left you with that, and... Uh, we were just talking about the whole Chiba thing, and... Uh, I'm sorry if I wasn't really... It's fine. No harm came of it, right? <laughs> I mean... No harm came of it, right? <laughs> and he'll be like, No, Katsume made it safely to her room. Oh, she's not. Oh, I'm sure she's not. Although I would imagine that she'd have some confusion as to how she got from the beach to her room. It's probably best not to tell her what happened. After all, I fought things over. I wouldn't actually want to damage her ego like that. <laughs> oh, good. 
Good. Yes. When I woke up and felt way more conscious about that, I realized that that was probably not the best. Yes, it's absolutely for the best that we tell Ketsume nothing about what happened after the thing, about the state she was in, about passing out, about me taking her back to her room. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good. And uh, sorry for making you almost sound like the bad guy when you were the only person. Mm. Not a dick. Mm. You'll just kind of go, ah. Well, at the very least, well, I don't actually think I accomplished anything, but, well, well, at least I didn't back down. Yeah, well, I love that. What? What do you mean, what? He'll be like, I suppose, and he'll just kind of think to himself. He just kind of thinks to himself, what woman was I trying to impress? <laughs> he goes down the list. Reiko was there. Shizuka <laughs> was there. Akira was there. Koharu <laughs> was there. Naomi was there. All of those are bad options. <laughs> Sigh. And he'll be like, right, well, I suppose I'll help I'll hope that she remembers something about that then. Rolls his eyes. I'm sure she'll remember you bravely defending her before it all goes blank. And then waking up safe. Yes, well, defense you didn't ask for is often found to be annoying. Oh. Yeah. But hey, maybe she thought it was... Nice. Hmm. Right. Well, <laughs> you'll forgive me if the fact that we know she has a card makes it hard to think about any of that stuff. Oh, yeah, I'll forgive you. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. well, glad. glad everything's not as bad as it could have been. That's good. Yes, everything's quite fine. Tsume is fine. I'm fine. You appear to be fine. Huh. Mm. Shin seems fine for now. Mm. Raph still doesn't have a tattoo on his face. We're all good. Yes, well. Ah, I was discounting the Shin thing, but you're right. He does seem fine to now. I'll take your word on it. Given the way he was at the end of the year, I can't imagine he's much worse off. Uh, yeah. He's probably just still getting back, recovering a bit. He'll be fine soon. We can get him a card soon. I'm sure he'll be looking chipper. Hmm. Hmm. We should... Once again, we should make headway onto this card quest, I suppose. But we should also see if Shin... If Shin stays at this stage, or if he improves once school started again. It might be tied to Ona-chan, and the school closing that he seemed to be getting worse. Yeah. That's pretty real. I mean, when he was by himself there, he just acted like things were kind of dead. I think he likes the school a lot. People probably do him some good. You know, being around all of that, good vibes and stuff. And, well, literal vibes, some mythopoetics. Mm. And he nods and goes, if that is actually even part of the case, then Kuroki may actually discover something useful about Shin. Maybe the good doctor can actually be, you know, the good doctor. Help us. Well, I'm just saying, it seems similar to his other work. Mm, what's his other work? Huh? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. I'll tell you about that some other time. Oh. Okay. Right. Good, he'll give me some chance to get a notebook out before you start saying stuff. 
Well, suffice it to say, from what I understand, Kuroki might be an expert on people who need a certain environment to function. Huh. That makes sense. He'll be like, right, well, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. School just started, gotta get to work. Oh, yes. Make an effort out there to be the best you can. Yeah. Well, Definitely not just the best you can. He pauses and then goes, no, 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 that would be wrong. That's not this academy. Better Make the effort you. to be the best. Mm. Mm. Like the sound of that. Ah. Mm. All right, I guess that's around the time they can wrap it up. Yes. After they suck each other off a bit more. There was so much you talked about. Yeah. So you 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 you. you... So, so you said that there's the doctor, and then I kind of lost the point. <laughs> you lost the entire, entire conversation. You literally could not have tried work less to listen. <laughs> literally started with that. <laughs> You're in real with chemistry. They talk about a lot of things. Chemistry, disgusting. Are you sandwich? Saying nom nom nom. Yep. Sand All right. sand well, since so it, since Richard has to go to work, I say next session, uh, I will do the dorm talk TM and then Raph stream. All right. Is this the, also part of the side session, or is that actual next session? Actual next session. Yeah. Okay. Sandwich. And then the side right. session is what sometime this week? If it is a girl. Yeah.